Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick update video regarding MHD Stage 2 as well as what's done to the car so far. I'll start with the outside. Super wheels, 10 millimeter spacious in the front. A little dirty right now because I was just driving it pretty hard, but whatever. Got the uh, M-Style mirror caps, gloss black. Gloss black grill which was added. Haven't changed the uh, these front pieces yet, but I'm not sure I feel like doing it at the cost of $200. They don't bother me that much, and it's kind of a waste of money for $200. Bucks. I'd rather put the money in the car elsewhere. Um, what else is done to the car? Got my uh, tints done, 20% all around. RW Carbon rear spoiler. Carbon fiber exhaust tips with them logos. I apologize for the wind. And the rear diffuser. Um, also, I apologize for the wind. Um, also, I just installed a new uh, carbon fiber intake today. No mod to the inside other than uh, some good old fashioned dirt on the carpets. But aside from that, in interior stock and only thing under the hood besides the actual tune itself is this beautiful dining cold air intake as well as the carbon fiber inlet which is all the way down there pretty hard to see but it's in there so got the dining intake with the inlet I'm gonna throw some sound clips of how that sounds as well What I feel about MHD Stage 2 as far as the 93 octane versus the 91 octane tune. There's some good interesting information, so here we go. Alright guys, so let's get into the real nitty gritty of the video. So I've had the Stage 2 tune for about a month or so when I initially installed it. I have to be honest, I initially was not that impressed. The car definitely pulled harder, felt faster, but it was very linear, and linear to the point where it just didn't feel like boost was coming on very well. So after just driving and driving, I didn't feel it got any better, I decided to run a little bit of E85. Put one gallon, this is for MHD Stage 2 93. So I'm like, let me put a splash in 93, see if it helps. I mean, I didn't feel any difference. So essentially, initially, I was a little disappointed. So I'm like, what could possibly be wrong? You know, these cars make good power when they're tuned. So after reading a bunch of time, bunch of articles, stuff like that, I came to the realization, let me try the MHD Stage 2 91 Octane. As soon as I ran that tune, the car felt so much quicker. So with that being said, it's all about gas quality. If you do not have good gas quality where you are, which I thought I did, I do not. You are not going to get the full potential out of the tune. Basically, you're just going to start pulling timing, and the car is going to make less power than it would on a lesser tune. So me running the 91 octane tune blows the 93 octane tune out of the water for my, for my fuel that's here where I'm located in Long Island. Other people may have good fuel. I'm gonna to try to see if I can get some Sunoco 94, which is further out, out of the way for me. It's not very convenient, so to be honest, it's probably not worth it. I won't, I won't be getting it very often, so the 91 tune is the sweet spot for me. I'm eventually gonna do like a, you know, E40 blend, and it should be really nice. I shouldn't have a problem. The E around here is actually good. So I'm gonna be doing that, and we'll see where we go. But for anyone who's questioning the MHD tune, 93 octane try 91 you will definitely be pleased definitely be pleased without a doubt 
I was. I took people for a ride. They noticed a difference. So it was it was night and day. It was almost going from I would say maybe stage one to stage two, or it it was a big difference. I definitely felt a great improvement in performance. I was very happy, and now I can say I'm happy with it. I also just recently installed a Dynan intake. I did a little walk around before, as you saw. Um, sounds pretty good so far. It feels pretty good. I, I honestly feel like it made a difference. Most intakes don't make a difference. They're just for sound. This one does make some sound. It's not crazy, but it does sound better. You get all the cool turbo noises and stuff like that. So, you know, makes the car a little more enjoyable. It definitely sounds more aggressive. My exhaust note, on the other hand, does sound more aggressive. I do have the stage two tune, but I'm getting a little more of a throatier sound out of the exhaust and more pops. So I didn't change any of the settings for, for the pops or anything like that, but I am getting more pops, all that good stuff. So the exhaust note sounds better. The car overall sounds more aggressive. So win-win. I'm gonna be posting numbers soon, see how much better the stage two tune is over stock. Stock with downpipe only, I ran an 1199, which is pretty good. This is an X-Drive car. I ran 1199 at I believe 113 miles an hour. So that was a pretty good run for a basically bone stock car. Let's see where we're at with the tune. Hopefully we're around the 1150s. That should be a safe number to assume, 11.6, somewhere around there. But I'll be happy with that. Anything above an 11.6, I'm gonna be a little disappointed, but I feel like we're there. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments about the car, you wanna know anything about it, you know, leave them below and I'll be more than happy to answer. So like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.